So Kiss the Monkeys members, we are very honored to have this amazing guy here, Dondre Lampkin from Dondre Lampkin Foundation. Uh, he uh, He's the man behind the, with us, behind the firefighting drive, uh, where we um, went down to uh, the fire station 84 and we filled up a whole room of supplies and, and thank you Dondre. His foundation was the one who helped us raise the funds and we're actually this week planning on how to disperse the funds. What are your ideas, Don Trey? Yeah, today? so a couple of ideas. The, the, uh, you know, recovery is a process. And when you're going through a disaster, if families are going through disasters, recovery yeah. really doesn't start until after the, um, the firefighters have gone, and the police officers have broken down all the, all the you know, cordoned off streets. And so now the plan is to hopefully open up some type of center where we can get people resources and give them information that will help them rebuild and help them recover. Another idea that we have is to keep uh, uh, you know, at least a month long uh, recovery center open where they can still get supplies, continue to get the services that they need throughout the year, um, and the, just the support, financial support, uh, insurance uh, support, whatever they need in order to bring their lives to um, There's all kinds of services that, that we can definitely benefit from, like mental you know, health services, getting people to adjust to the new way of life in some cases, and getting people back into their old lives. So we plan on using the funds that we raised in disaster relief really fund for that but please, if anybody knows about it, if you could put in the comments any suggestions for where we sh it should be directed to, and thank you for everybody, to everybody that has donated. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, the best place to go is just ask some of the victims. What are some of the shortcomings? What are some of the services that they're not getting that they really, really absolutely need? Just ask, and uh, if you guys can give us some suggestions uh, based on what you're hearing out there from the residents in Malibu and Thousand Oaks, please let us know so that we can try to step in and fill in those gaps where either first responders are unable to provide those services or the government to provide those services. You actually went out there to Malibu. You saw, yeah. you saw firsthand some of the destruction in, Mal in Malibu. Wow. Was, it's yeah, you know, it's unfortunate. I think there's something like 1,300 uh, structures that were burned. That was a preliminary uh, review. Uh, fortunately, the, the loss of life was very minimal. There's nothing like what happened in Northern California. And, you know, we're also thinking about the residents out there as well um, in the Chico area. We, you know, when, when disaster strikes, you know, especially when you haven't had one in a long time, people tend to be ill-prepared because they tend to forget. Um, so a lot of times when these disasters pop up, some, such as like fires or floods, you know, it can be really devastating. California is an amazing state full of all these natural beauties and we love to live amongst them, but we also forget sometimes that it, it, you know, it has a way of affecting itself and unfortunately we have people that have fallen victims to that. Andre, thank you for what he, he does. I mean, his foundation does so much good for so many people. Uh, just last year in the hurricane in Puerto Rico, they did so much amazing work. Um, and here he is today at Divine H2O. And he's Divine H2O helping the homeless. Uh, yeah, so super grateful to him for that. And for all he does, he's such a great monkey, great friend. Uh, we absolutely adore this guy. And I want to thank Mr. Monkeys for bringing, uh, bringing us together and bringing people into the network who have like interests, who want to work with us, because we want to work with them as well. Uh, it's always great to have donor partners. It's always great to have different organizations coming together for all, all for one purpose instead of everybody doing their own individual thing. It's a beautiful thing, and it just goes to show you that there are people all over the state, all over the country, and all over the world who all want to do the same thing. I mean, it's coming together to help build stronger, more resilient communities. We're definitely going to be successful at it. So how do they find you, Dondre? Uh, where are you on Facebook? How do they find you? Absolutely. So you can re uh, reach us at lampkinfoundation.org. That's L-A-M-P-K-I-N foundation.org. We also can be found on Instagram at Lampkin Foundation, and we also have our Facebook page, facebook.com slash or forward slash Lampkin Foundation. If you go to our website, we encourage all of you to register as volunteers through our website. Also register in our message center so you can get updates about what we're doing. So just we partner with organizations like this. And then also you can check out our initiatives and our causes. And if there's something that speaks to you and something that you believe in just as easily as I do or even more, you can donate on each of those pages as well. All right. Don't forget, everybody, that giving it should not be a season. It should be all year long. Fantastic. Give you guys a heads up. One last plug. 
Giving Tuesday is coming up. Second Tuesday after Thanksgiving is the biggest giving day of the year for all nonprofit organizations. So I highly encourage you guys to reach deep down into your pocketbooks, cut those checks. You can either give them to the Disaster Relief Fund through the Kiss to Monkeys page, or you can go directly to our website, again, lampkinfoundation.org. And also don't forget that tax bracket this year for uh, non uh, nonprofit or tax deductible donations has gone up. So if you're looking for a place to put your money, if you're looking for uh, somewhere to put your estate, something that where you know your money's going to go to a good cause and not to a board or not to leaders of the group to fund their own income, please consider donating to the Foundation today. Hey, they do amazing work. All right, guys, thank you so much. Love you all. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.